Hey plant lovers, welcome back to Succulents Box's YouTube channel with me, Sophie. In this plant care session today, we're diving into the fascinating world of houseplants with a special focus on the ponytail palm. It looks very much like a palm, but it's not a palm. Is it even a green houseplant? I'll tell you in a bit. Ponytail palm, or scientifically known as Biocarnia recurvata, is not a green houseplant, but a succulent. It has slender, arcing leaves that look like a ponytail and cascade from a bulbous trunk. This trunk stores water and allows ponytail to thrive in arid conditions. First things first, let's talk safety. The great news is that the ponytail palm is considered non-toxic. It is one of the best pet-friendly, easy care houseplants. Now onto lighting. This succulent, with its arcing, dark green leaves, thrives in bright, indirect light. Whether you're cultivating it indoors or outdoors, positioning it near a south or west-facing window works wonders. Be mindful of scorching sun and sudden lighting changes to ensure your plants stay stress-free. When it comes to watering, ponytail palm is a drought-tolerant plant. It prefers the soak and dry method. Allow the soil to completely dry out between waterings to prevent overwatering and root rot. And remember, avoid letting water collect in the base as excess moisture can lead to undesirable conditions. Let's talk about temperature. Maintain a comfortable range between 60 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit for optimal growth. Avoid freezing temperatures under 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity-wise, it's a relatively low-maintenance plant and does not require high humidity. It thrives in most indoor environments. If you live in an extremely dry home, you can provide some humidity by placing a tray of water near the plant or using a humidifier. Moving on to soil, ponytail palm loves well-draining succulent or cactus mix. This ensures the roots stay happy and avoids the risk of waterlogged conditions. While it doesn't demand frequent fertilization, a balanced, water-soluble fertilizer during the growing season provides a gentle nutrient boost. Selecting the right pot is crucial. Choose a container that suits the ponytail palm's size. Remember that a small container can hinder root growth and an overly spacious pot may lead to water accumulation. When repotting, do so during the growing season using a pot with drainage holes to prevent water accumulation. A slightly larger pot is ideal for this easygoing succulent. Pruning is minimal for the ponytail palm. If it appears a bit unruly, a simple trim of yellowed or weathered leaves keeps it looking neat. If you are interested in creating more baby ponytail palms, keep in mind that propagation may take some patience, but it's worth the effort. While ponytail palms are typically propagated from seeds, offsets, or pups at the base, to propagate using offsets, gently remove them and plant in well-draining soil. Ensure they receive adequate light, but protect them from intense sun exposure. Gradually acclimate the new plants to their surroundings. Lastly, let's talk about dormancy. During the winter months, your ponytail palm may slow its growth. Adjust your watering routine, reducing frequency to mimic its natural dormant period. It's also a good idea to stop all fertilization during this time to avoid root burning. If you suspect pests, a gentle wipe with a damp cloth or a mild insecticidal soap should do the trick. And there you have it, our comprehensive guide on caring for the laid-back ponytail palm. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more plant wisdom, and share your questions or suggestions in the comments below. Happy planting, and until next time, keep nurturing your green companions. For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.